Oh, my good gold, Jim London's been nobbled. Bang goes our chances in the next Olympics. What happened? I sprained my ankle getting out my window, didn't I? Well, why didn't you come out by the front door? Oh, stone me, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I couldn't get out the front door because it's stuck, isn't it? I mean, it's been dodgy all week and that won't work at all. Oof. Oh. Well, come on, where's me pint from the southern slopes of the chemical works? Oh, almost forgot. Here's a leftist for you. Mm. Probably me pools win, innit? They do away with the champagne and the limousine now. They just bung it at you over the bar down your local. <laughs> oh. oh, of course. Well, what's that all about? Jim London. Estimate to supply and fix in one front door, £98. Well, so what's the problem then? Payment must be in advance. It's a trouble, innit? No one trusts anyone nowadays. I'll have to just keep hopping in and out my window till I break me legs and end up with a high pitched voice. Well, what about when you take your new posh bird, Fiona, around there? She ain't going to be too pleased, is she? Having to have a leg up before she can have a leg over. <laughs> You're right, Brian. I'll have to find someone with a bag of tools to do a temporary job. And, eh, hey, presto, here he is. You're joking, aren't you? Oh, hello, Jim. I've just been round your house. That front door's stuck again. I'll have to take the whole frame out and start again. Goodbye, little house. What's that thing? Oh, this, my old son, is a real old, genuine Elizabethan electrical light fitting. <laughs> this, I found it on a skip. That looked lovely when I hang that up in Jim's front room. Here, Daddy, do you know when that would look really nice, wouldn't you? No, where? Back in the skip. <laughs> <laughs> won't you come home from Bailey? Won't you come home? He been away too long. You know, the last time I heard a noise like that was when next door's Moggy woke up after the vet had finished with it. I'll have you know, I used to call me old Velvet Voice a few years ago. It was before I had my tonsils out, of course. Pity that. Ruined me prospects. Well, the vet didn't exactly do next door's cats a lot of good either. <laughs> Four. <sighs> Tripping that right down the middle. Down the middle of what? I've just whacked me ball down the middle of the fairway. It's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> I'm playing golf. Oh, oh this, uh, what's with all this uh, four business then? Well, it's a warning, isn't it? To stop golfers being whacked on the bonce by flying balls. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yes, yes. But why four? Well, what do you expect? Oh, it could have a flipping way. Wouldn't go down too well at Wentworth, would it? No, I suppose not. No, no. Here, here, can I have a whack? You? But why not? I've seen all them top golfers on the telly. Ballasteros. There's no need to get nasty, son. <laughs> All right, then. What club would you pick, then, eh? Hey? Hey? Well, uh, uh, depends, doesn't it? I mean, uh, what with this, uh, wind and that, uh, what one do you reckon? Hmm. <laughs> well, this wind into a par three, that... Seven, I am. Take a seven. Oh. That's a five. Oh. <laughs> Right, you watch this then. Uh, ain't you forgotten something? What? <laughs> oh, right. Right. What about the other golfers? Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. Ball! <laughs> Ball? You can't say that. Why not? Well, because you can't. I mean, you wouldn't hear, like, Ballesteros or Tony Jackley shouting out bowl, would you? I say, why not? Anyway, I played a terrific shot then. Wouldn't be at all surprised if I didn't get an hole in one. An hole in one? Get out of it, you've gone in that bunker. That bunker? What bunker? That big bunker on the right. Watch this. Yeah. You're a cheater, you are. You never said nothing about no bunker when I hit my shot. You've got eyes, ain't you? Yeah. It's a silly game, golf. Anyway, I've got some work to do. Out here. I bet all this golf is because you want to try and impress this posh bird you're chatting up. She ain't a posh bird, she's a tasty lady. Anyway, I'm playing with her dad, not her. Mm. <laughs> anyway, how can you play golf? First off, you ain't got a set of clubs, and second, you've never played it before. Listen, mate, I've got a set of clubs all sussed out, right? And as for never playing before, I'll have you know that while you've been propping up the bar down the Freemasons, I have been flogging my brains out at the sporting section of the local library. The library? You? <laughs> oh, God. That's a laugh, that is. <laughs> uh, and I've got my natural sporting ability to see me through. Do what? Natural sporting 
Ability? Listen, son, there's only one ability you've got, and it's got sod all to do with golf. <laughs> but when I was a kid, I was good at ball games. <laughs> you know what I mean. <sighs> Four. Yeah, well, I still think ball's better. Anyway, enough of this golf. Get up them steps, hold that fitting for us. What do you want me to do? Just hold on to it whilst I switch on. Joking, and do you remember the last time you put my lights up, you blacked out half the street? Ah, now that wasn't my fault, was it? I mean, that was them silly sods in Brussels, wasn't it? Changing all the colours of the wires around. Just cause them froggies in the EEC couldn't tell black from red. All right, you hold the lights. I'll do the switch. Oh, now, no, that ain't right, is it, son? I mean, I am the technical side of the operation. I ain't getting up there. It'll be all right. I mean, I've read all the books on it, and I? All, all this time you spent blowing down this posh bird's ear, I won't been on at it. Does mother know? <laughs> Studying, filling my mind with electrical knowledge. Yes. Popped into uh, W.H. Smith's and Sons, you know, uh, do-it-yourself section. Yes, I said I was looking for a birthday present. Got a memory like a giraffe, I have, yeah. Swatted it all up, only took ten minutes. <laughs> oh, definitely ain't getting up there. Come on, it'll be all right. Go on. Oh, no. How are you? Yeah. Don't forget to shout for. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I know old uh, Prince Charlie fills up Oxford Street Christmas time. <laughs> right. Ready? <laughs> I'm ready now. Go on, fire away. Right. Ball! <laughs> Go on, bend it. It works. It blew me. It works. <laughs> only just, Dad. Only just. Yeah, ain't that the business, eh? Hey? Well, I told you it'd be all right, didn't I? Eh? Hello, Jim. All right, son? <laughs> oh, blimey, I don't remember that being there before. <laughs> no, it's just started to grow after the last week, about the same time as the door started to stick. <laughs> blimey. This gaff, Jim, is falling down. Mm. Anyway. One set of borrowed golf clumps, as per ordered. Oh, tricky, Brian. Is Hello, Ern. All right, mate? Yeah, it takes more than a few EEC froggies to baffle a good Englishman. <laughs> Here, give us a pint of whatever he's drinking, will you? <laughs> he's looked a business, mate. Yeah, they do, don't they? Hey, be careful with them, though, won't you, Jim? Only the geezer I've borrowed them from's a bit on the big side, know what I mean? He makes giant haystacks look like a corn dolly. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, mate. I've got all this gold block sussed right out. Yeah, of course, when they change the red to the brown and the black for the blue, they, them froggies, they thought they had us at it, but they didn't reckon on the power of W.H. Smith's and the great British way of reading it all up. <laughs> balls, eh? Balls, Brian, any balls in here? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a few. Out of this, some of them plastic ones and all. They're full of little holes, so you can practice without smashing the gap up. Oh, terrific, I'll have some of that, mate. But what do you want all this gear for, anyway? Uh, I'm going deep-sea diving, Brian. I thought that would be obvious why I need this golf club. Well, you know what I mean. I mean, I didn't even know you could play golf. Well, Fiona reckons that it sort of gives them oh, a... Fiona. That's the new posh sort you've teamed up with, isn't it? Mm -hmm. She ain't a posh sort. Look, listen, look, her old man said that he wanted to meet me, right? I said, well, trip it. Bring him round a Freemason's arms for a couple of jars and a game of errors. Well, if she's anything to go by, I don't think her old man's the type of geezer who goes down his local boozer for a few pints and a game of 301. <laughs> I'll make you right, mate. He's more like going in the golf club, you know. A few pink gins. Hello, Jam. <laughs> <laughs> All that, know what I mean? Anyway. She said to me, do you fancy playing golf? I said, well, I've really got my mind on the arrows, you know, but I think it's a oh, game. Oh, yes, you flitting chancer. I can just hear you now. Oh, yes. Of course I can, Fiona, my dear. I often play a few holes before signing on. <laughs> well, not exactly in them words, Bright. No. Oh, you do get yourself involved, son. I mean, it takes years of practice to be any good at golf. Oh, well, that's all right, Brian. He's uh, read all the books on it. Yeah, and it don't look too hard in the pictures, I can tell you. Here. Want to see me swing or what? If I must. Have a gander at this, set. Look at that. Look, look, look. Looks like a human question mark. Oh. <laughs> Are you built up? He looks more like a crab with a bad case of piles to me. <laughs> <laughs> Will you two turn it in? I've got to get this sus by this afternoon, haven't I? Oh, uh, now, watch this. Learn something. Oh, We're out the way. <clears throat> Four! Here, yeah, my mind, my head! Oh! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Well, you got the four bit right, Jim. <laughs> Where's the buddy Nick Faldo, then? Oh, getting himself all punched up and all that. Here, you should have seen what he was putting on when I left. A flak jacket would be about right, wouldn't it? Uh, you wait. Looks like a right raving iron, he does. You what? Well, he's got to look the part, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, he looks the part, all right, yeah. Makes Val Doonigan look like an hell's angel. <laughs> I see a mouth like yours, it had a hook in it. Come on, get us a pint, Brian. What do you want, Dad? I've already had it, thanks, sir. A cardiac arrest when you smashed up my light fitting. Well, I didn't mean it, did I? I'll fix it, I'll glue them back together. Come on. Give him a double scotch, will you? I've heard of being in the rough, Fiona, my dear, but this is going a bit too deep. Now, now, Jeremy, don't be such a bore. Besides, I like my rough. Rough. Bitch. Bore. James, darling, I'm sorry I'm all behind. <laughs> Only my silly little car developed something nasty. Dear Jeremy came to my rescue and popped me in his Porsche. Lucky old Jeremy. <laughs> James, meet Jeremy. Jeremy, this is James. What you got? Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it must be. <laughs> right, so we have it waiting. Have you got a caddy, James? I've got everything in here, darling. <laughs> no, James, a caddy. Someone to carry your clubs. Oh, that caddy. Oh, no, I ain't got one of them. One gets awfully tired carrying one's clubs all the way round the course. Besides, Daddy always says a caddy gives a man class. Yeah, yes. Yeah, you're right, I suppose, yeah. Hang on. Brian, you... Dad, direct. Oh, 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 all me back and half giving me some jip here. Not to worry, I'm sure Jeremy won't mind being your caddy just this once. What did you say, Fiona? Thanks very much, mate. Cheers, Cocker. <laughs> Fiona? I say, Fiona! Aye. That boy of yours did not get himself involved, didn't he? Mm. It's got to be bad for the back, I reckon. What, golf? No, that popping in a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, James, sweetie, you wait here and I'll go and find Daddy. Jeremy, dear, you best get ready now. You know what Daddy's like for tea off time. Yes, Fiona. We got time for a bevy then, or what? Uh, no, no, we'd best get started. Henry, Fiona's father, is a real stickler for time. Oh, by the way, James, what is your handicap? Well, apart from your bit of athlete's foot, I'm as fit as a fiddle. <laughs> oh, dear. What's up? James, have you ever played golf before? Yeah. Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? In Margate. Margate? <laughs> yeah, Margate. Caravan site, crazy golf runner-up, 1966. <laughs> What? <laughs> and 67. Yeah. I actually played this type of golf before, but I've been reading it up in the library. I've got it well sussed. Yes, quite. Why, what? You, look, don't you worry about a thing. You can count on me to help you round. <laughs> I knew you was a, a diamond. <laughs> don't mention it, old chap. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Not for the world. Yeah, Jeremy. Yes? What is all this handicap business then? Oh, well, you see, <clears throat> take a tip from me. I'm in your hands, mate. Yes. Yeah, when you get down on the first tee and Henry asks you what your handicap is, just tell him you're off scratch. Scratch? What's that then? Trust me, old chap. <laughs> I just tell him, scratch. You'll make Henry very happy. <laughs> Don't forget, scratch. <laughs> I'm off for a jimmy, James. <laughs> what, what if he's... Scratch. I'm off scratch. I'm scratching. I've got a scratch. I'm scratching. I must remember, I've got a scratch. Get... Hello. James, isn't it? Oh, hello, mate. Most of my pals call me Jim. Yes, I imagine they would. <laughs> well, James, it's you and I against uh, Charles and Simon. 
And let me tell you, they're the biggest pair of bandits in the club. You can tell that just by looking at them. <laughs> yes, well, you'll have to keep on your toes, young man. Now, it's uh, a foursome. Alternative shot, straight three pounds a hole. Three quid a hole? Well, a corner, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah, what else? Indeed. What do you off? <laughs> off? That's handicap. What handicap do you play off? My handicap, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I've, I've scra I'm scratching. I've a... I'm off scratch. Bye, <laughs> Jingo! Scratch, you say? Yeah, yeah, so perhaps the old three quid a hole's a bit iffy, you know what I mean, Henry? Yes, indeed, I do. Yeah. Oh, I don't worry, I'll soon fix that. Oh, I'll be back in a moment. Uh, Charles, <laughs> about that way? I think Daddy likes you. Oh, yeah, it was a bit iffy at first. Like, once I told him I was scratching, he, he really wanted me. Here, thanks, Jeremy, like your style, mate. <laughs> yeah. Scratching, oh, James, I didn't know. Yeah, just a little something I picked up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, Jim, that's all fixed up. I've, um, I've upped the ante to five pounds. A fiver? No, oh, per quarter, of course. And, um, if anyone should ask, you're playing off ten. OK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, James, sweetie, Daddy has wanted to beat those two for yonks. There's more where that came from. See you back in the clubhouse after. Oh. Shall we join them on the tea? Tea? <laughs> right, Jim. I've uh, given them the honours. I'll take our first tea shot and then... Uh, We'll leave the big surprise until the fairway, hmm? Yeah, big surprise. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, good shot. Go on, Henry, give it a belter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, good one, Henry. That'll do us, mate. Well, uh, I think you'll make up for my lack of distance, Jim. Come on, let's go and shock him, eh? <laughs> oh, of course. Yes, let's go and shock him, eh, James? <laughs> Oh, right. What sort of whacker then? Well, uh, <laughs> if it were me playing the shot, I'd certainly take a fairway wood. Yeah? Right. Yeah. This one will be just right. So. <laughs> one is only allowed to use these from the tea, James. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, what do I do now then? Do you hit the ball? Oh, I know that. Where? <laughs> Just belt it up towards that red flag. What the f the flag up there? You're joking. I'll never whack it that far. I know. <laughs> Where you go, dude?
He went berserk, the keyser. There was golf balls bouncing on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd end up making yourself out of prat. I just knew it. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks for your encouragement, you two. Oh, right. sorry, Jim. Shut and laugh, mate. Mm. But you're gonna, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. I ain't laughed like that for ages. Oh. Hey. Oh. One last thing. What? The geezer who lent me the clubs, he's calling round. Collect them. So keep Storm about you using them, all right? Only he's a bit iffy about lending his gear out. Only lends it out to special mates. He loves his clubs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told him it was me. I was going to be using them. Not I mean. Oh, yeah. like, the things I do to you, eh, Jim? <laughs> Oh, blimey. Just tell him to sling his up when he... Oh, my God. So don't forget, <laughs> mum's the word. <laughs> Hello, Brian. Got me clubs, then, Cocker. God. Hello, lumps, me old mate. Uh. Here, thanks for the use of them clubs. I had a terrific round. Now, where did I put them? Oh, uh, I think you left them down here, Brian. Oh, thanks, Jim. Hey, terrific clubs, them. They was like putty in my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, my little darlings.